para the brothers live of YouTube kanal at me as Rita and I am from the Philippines. Thank you so much guys for clicking the link. So in today's video guys, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to share you some some of the things or I think this is the top things that you should not do in Bulgaria if you are going to visit Bulgaria or if you are going to live in Bulgaria permanently then I think you should consider to listen about these topics because for me this is my this is based on my experience and I would love to share it with you guys so the first thing that you should not do in Bulgaria guys is do not bring your shoes inside the Bulgarian house or inside the apartment of a Bulgarian this is definitely a bad idea for you to bring your shoes or slippers or any footwear inside their houses uh, Bulgarian people are very clean to their houses actually this is one thing that I can still adapt because I am very messy person yeah I am very messy and my mom always called me burara <laughs> So, yeah, um, based on my experience, guys, upon living in Bulgaria, um, when I visit some of the houses in Bulgaria, a lot of them provide sleepers on, the, on their door to give you if they're going to welcome you in their house. And then some also provide the food rugs or food sacks. So, if the owner of the house didn't give you a food sacks or food rug or sleepers, then definitely you have to remove your shoes yeah remove your shoes don't do this so the second thing guys is do not go empty-handed yeah um it, this is like same in the philippines that we love to bring pasalubong it's uh, pasalubong is like a present or a souvenir if you are visiting other house so here in bulgaria guys i noticed that if my friends visit me in the house they always bring chocolate flowers coffee or something that i can receive after they arrive my house so also my in-laws also if we visit other houses then they also bring like wine flower of, of course to the owner of the house especially to the girl or to the mother of the house they bring chocolate sometimes that's why if you're going to watch my previous videos like uh, when i visit annie or baba kacha the smallest thing that you can get, you don't have to buy expensive stuff as long as you have a little bit or a little thing that you can bring upon arriving to their house. Um, sometimes Danny, my friend, if he visit my house, he bring like three sticks of a coffee and that's fine. So I think this is one of the culture in Bulgaria. Do not go to other houses or do not bring do not go to their houses with empty handed so the next one guys that i want to share you is do not film or do not take video inside their monastery like every monastery has their chapel inside and that's the place where they pray most of the bulgarian guys a lot of bulgarians are orthodox and um as i was vlogging um i never know that this is something that disrespectful um a person who who was working in that monastery where we went told me that taking videos inside the monastery is something like really bad for them they don't like it because monastery is the place where you pray something like that i think that's also the reason why i had a thumbs down on the on the monastery blog that i made i think that was like a year ago the seventh the seven altars monastery so especially guys in sofia there is the certain it's not a it's not a monastery it's a church actually it's it's called Buyana. this is one of the oldest church in bulgaria probably in the world you are not allowed to take pictures or videos inside but in some like alexander nevsky in sofia you can take a video if you pay which is like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> some of the people actually i met some vloggers they said um why in alexander nevsky they charge us 10 left just to take videos i don't know about the explanation about that guys but for me, I am talking about the monastery, the small church, like the place where they pray. Um, you should not take videos there. You should not take, especially if you're doing vlogs, like you're talking in front of your camera while showing the... Of course, if people are praying, then you're going to... You're probably 
Yeah, it's not good. So do not take videos inside the church of a monastery. So the next one, guys, is do not answer by nodding your head, like doing like this and doing like this. Because in Bulgaria, it's totally opposite. If you answer them by yes, they do da. And if it's no, they ne. So especially if they're going to ask you dobrelisi. So they, they, and they answer like, so it's definitely not okay. <laughs> that person who you ask is not okay. So, Dubreli Serita. Like, so, no, I'm not okay. Dubreli uh, Serita, are you okay, Rita? So, it's yes. So, especially, guys, if you are in the coffee shop or you're in a restaurant, some of the waitress will ask you, um, best Zahar, so no sugar. You have to answer yes or no voice by voice because if you like it's definitely yes they're going to add sugar on it so do not nod your head in bulgaria so the next one guys that i can probably tell you not to do in bulgaria is do not leave bulgaria without trying the bulgarian yogurt so bulgarian yogurt guys is one of the best thing that you can probably try in bulgaria because yogurt in Bulgaria has their special um, bacteria called Bulgaricus, uh, Lactobacillus Bulgaricus. So this bacteria is this bacteria is only available in Bulgaria. So yogurt, guys, this is very good. I actually make my homemade yogurt, but unfortunately not this time because we are in the city. Milk here is not so available unlike in the village that a lot of shepherd offer me milk so yeah bulgarian yogurt guys it's it's a very good yogurt and this is one of the best yogurt in the world probably the best yogurt for me so do not leave bulgaria without trying the bulgarian yogurt so the last but not the least things that i can tell you not to do in bulgaria is ask bulgarian if they are they speak russian so <laughs> Bulgarian hate it guys they hate it like so are you from Bulgaria then you speak Russian they hate it like Bulgarian guys has their own letters they have their own letters and they have their own language it's not it's kind of there's some words that is very similar to Russian um, based on the history they said that the Russian language is also from Bulgarian language so Bulgarian really hate to hear you asking if they speak Russian or they use Russian letters. So definitely not. So guys, that's all for today's vlog. I hope that this video is a little bit interesting to you. And uh, disclaimer guys, I just want to repeat that this video is not intend to hate anybody. This is just based on my experience upon talking to Bulgarians and based on my experience upon living in Bulgaria. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy it. Again, this is your friend, Filipina Yordanova. May you have a wonderful day in your neighborhood and God bless your beautiful soul, everybody. Ciao!